Hello everyone, I'm Shuo. Welcome back to Shuo Shuo Chinese. Shuo Shuo Zhongwen. In my last video, I talked about how to train your ears to be tone sensitive. However, I also mentioned that it is only necessary if you really want to focus on pronunciation and sound like a native. For most of us, pronunciation is important, but not that important. Like you wouldn't say that I sound like a native English speaker, but you also wouldn't say that my English pronunciation is bad either. In this video, I want to share a trick with you to sound not exactly like a Chinese native speaker, but more natural and accurate. I always tell my students that when they're speaking a foreign language, they need to imagine that they are from that country. Because have you ever noticed that people look different when speaking different languages? 然后我就认识了一个男生, and he's like just my type. And then he asked me, 他谈了哇, So when learning to speak a language, we must not only learn the pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar, but also the way people speak their intonation and the rhythm of the language. Lily,我是美国人。我喜欢做饭,我喜欢猫,我喜欢狗,我不喜欢小孩子。你好,我叫Lily,我是美国人。So the question is, how do you learn all the things I just mentioned when it comes to Mandarin? The answer is super simple. Listen and imitate. Here's what one of my students told me. Uh,每次跟中国人交流的时候 but I don't recommend imitating Chinese dramas and movies. Huh? For some reason, most characters in Chinese dramas and movies speak a type of Mandarin that is very standardized. Their accent, rhythms, intonations, and ways of speaking are different from those of people in real life. Instead, I would recommend learning from reality shows. Talk shows. Watching videos or vlogs on Bilibili or listening to Chinese podcasts. You can find lots of podcasts on the Chinese app Xiao Yu Zhou. But I'm like a beginner. My Chinese is not good enough to understand the shows. It doesn't matter. Because your goal is not to understand the show. Your goal is to imitate their ways of speaking. You can just choose a few sentences that you can fully understand from the show and listen to and imitate them again and again until you can get the feeling of speaking like a Chinese person. But if you want to understand everything while imitating, I also recommend the mini podcast on my Patreon page. These are a series of audios in which I speak exactly how I would talk with my Chinese friends. 
but only with the vocabulary that Chinese language learners can understand. He was in the outside world when his mother was beaten. He was beaten by his mother. Then, at that time, his teacher came to talk to his mother with his mother. The topics are highly related to our daily life, but also kind of deep. Like how Chinese people think when they are forced to get married by their parents, or a Chinese person's mind journey after moving to Europe, etc. I also shared some of my personal stories. So this is all the content of today's video. I hope you like it, and I will also link some of the resources that I mentioned in this video in the description box. I highly recommend checking them out. I'm Shuo from Shuo Shuo Chinese. I will see you in my next video. 再见。Thank、you